Africa and mostly in my country, despite its richness in bioactive compounds. During the peak season, um, uh, more than 60% of the fruit are wasted, and uh, the only part that, uh, uh, in, uh, that interests the local population is the sap from the tree. And uh, unfortunately, during the sap extraction, most of the tree um, uh, uh, lead to the death of the trees, thus reducing the natural resources. Palmyra palm fruit will provide energy, dietary fiber, carbohydrate, and phenolic compounds, which are vital to normal human growth. Um, Palimera fruit weighs between uh, 1.5 to 2 kilograms and is highly fibrous and also rich in vitamin C, E, carotenoids, and minerals. Therefore, in transformation into value-added products like pectin, a, a nutraceutical may help in preserving the palm. So the objective of this research was to assess the potential of uh, palmyra palm as an alternative source for commercial pectin. And uh, to do this, we collected the, sample, the, the fruit from the V Baule, where the palm grows in a wild, uh, in a wild and uh, <clears throat> the pulp was dried at 60 degrees for 48 hours and washed with ethanol to remove all the, the soluble compounds that will impair the pectin extraction. And then picture, picture A, from, uh, A from E is uh, showing the extraction process of the pectins. And the uh, extraction was done at different temperature, time, and the pH. The natural pH of the fruit was between 5.2 and 5.5. And uh, for the acidic extraction process, uh, we use uh, nitric acid. And uh, to get the pH to 7, we use uh, NaOH. And uh, different analyses were performed on, uh, on the extracted pectin like the galateronic acid, the degree of esterification, the molecular weight, the neutral sugar content, the, we determined also the, the emulsifying properties and the flow behaviors and the gel property of the pectin. And as a result, can you move up please? Can you scroll down? Please, the organizer. Yes, uh, I need to go. Yeah, the organizer okay. will uh, yes, okay. will pull it down. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> before extracting the pectin, we checked the nutritional uh, quality of the of the fruit. And uh, can you scroll down, please? Could you please scroll down the, the, the poster? Yeah, they put they will put it down, but it needs yeah, because it's heavy. Yes. So uh, I need, it. yes, I need to see the result of the, the chemical composition of the fruit, but I can see it on my screen here. Okay, so I will read it for my PowerPoint here. Okay, so. The fruit is highly perishable and uh, to, for, to prolong the, uh, the cons conservation, the fruit was dried and uh, we checked the nutritional quality of the fruit. And the fruit uh, contains 2.4 proteins. Uh, 90, 90%, 90 gram of uh, crude fiber, 9.5 milligram of uh, carotene weight per 100 gram of fruit, which is, uh, uh, which uh, can classify, which the fruit, um, which classified the food as a good source of carotenoids. And uh, this carotenoid is uh, within the, the recommended uh, daily allowance the uh, fall within the recommended daily allowance of for carotenoids. 
And uh, this carotenoid is reported to contain uh, alpha carotene, beta, uh, provitamin A, and lycopene. And uh, this carotenoid content is close to that of potatoes and also to dehydrated carrot, which is for the dehydrated carrot, we have uh, uh, between 10.9 to 17.4 milligram per 100 gram. And we also noted that the, the, the fruit contains um, polyphenol, 0.4 gram, gram of polyphenol per 100 gram of, uh, of, the, of the dried fruit. And uh, we know that polyphenol and carotenoids are antioxidants that, uh, 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 that exert uh, antioxidant properties. So, and the fruit is also rich in, uh, in minerals like uh, magnesium, calcium, sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. And these minerals are within the recommended daily allowance for adults. So we can notice that the chemical analysis of the fruit shows that the fruit is packed in a nutrient that could be used uh, as a food complement. Uh, the, 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 or used as a raw material for the extraction of um, bioactive compounds that could be add, uh, used as ingredient for you know, food product development. And uh, this study showed that instead of letting the, the fruit to, to rot in the fields, it could be used for valuable, it could be add, uh, it could be have uh, valuable utilization in food product development. We also check the pectin content of the, the, the fruit and to detect, to see that if it could be a good source of uh, raw material for protein, pectin extraction for the food industry. And uh, the results show that, and uh, <clears throat> for the pectin extraction, at a different uh, pH, different time, and uh, different temperature, we table one is showing the optimum yield and galateronic acid of pectin obtained from the Palmyra palm. And we can see that at the natural pH, uh, we have 14.90% uh, of pectin that was extracted with uh, a content of 83% of galateronic acid. And the temperature uh, at and we were able to get this uh, yield at, uh, 80, at 80 degree, at 70 and 80 degree for one hour. So when we, we use the a pH, a acidic pH, we noticed that uh, we were able to extract 13.63% uh, of pectin <clears throat> with 81 to 86% of galateronic acid content and uh, at uh, 70 degree and uh, 90 degree. And at 70 degree uh, during uh, uh, 80 minutes and at, 70, at 90, 70 to 90 degree, uh, the garlic content was, uh, the extraction was for one 70 minutes. So the yield also, we were able to get a yield of 14.49% at a temperature of 80 degrees for one hour. And uh, for the higher galateronic acid at PA7 was obtained at, uh, for 30 minutes at 70 degrees C. And the garlic content was about 83%. So for a pectin to, uh, for uh, a soluble substance to be considered as pectin, the galateronic acid content should be greater than 65%. So we can see that with uh, the fruit, the, protein, the pectin extracted could be uh, uh, used uh, uh, in the food industry as uh, since is, uh, it has a galateronic acid content greater than 60, 65%. So table two is showing, is comparing the pectin obtained from uh, the fruit to the commercial pectin. And we can see that, um, 
the pectin from the, uh, the fruit contain less, less ash at a higher content of protein and uh, at a degree of acidification between 62 and 79% is uh, a little bit uh, acetylated and is a, is a contain low, low uh, a total percent of a low total percent of uh, natural sugar and all it has a high molecular weight. So we can see that uh, the pectin obtained from the, the fruit is uh, comparable to the commercial pectins. So which means that uh, the fruit is a good source of pectin and uh, could be uh, considered as a raw. Uh, material for, the, for pectin extraction at the industrial level. So uh, table three is comparing, uh, is classified, is a, uh, showing a classification of the pectin extracted from the raw mat, from the pectin, uh, from the raw, uh, veronier fruit, the palmyran palm. And we can see that uh, depending on the degree of esterification, we were able to extract uh, one, two, three, four different classes of uh, pectin with different type of uh, uh, gelling abilities. And uh, when the degree, the, the DM is between 74 to 77, we have uh, an ultra rapid set uh, gel properties which means the, 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 the gel set within one to three minutes. And uh, pectin extracted at pH natural 70 degree and the pH 2.5 70 degree uh, exhibited uh, this uh, ultra rapid set ability of, uh, uh, of gelling properties. And uh, when the degree of esterification is between 71 and 74, we have a rapid set gelling ability, which means the gel set within 3.7 minutes. And uh, pectin extracted from uh, the fruit at pH natural 90 degrees and pH 2.5 90 degrees uh, was considered as a rapid set pectin. When the DM is within 66 and 69%, where the pectin is called a medium rapid set pectin because it's set within 15 and 20, 25 minutes. And the pectin extracted uh, from the fruit at pH 7 and 90 degree exhibited this kind of properties. And uh, the pectin extracted at, seven, at pH 7 and 70 degrees was considered as a slow set pectin because of the degree of acidification between 58 and 65%. And the but the, the, the gel set within 30 and one, 20, and one hours. So in table four, table four is showing uh, the emulsify, emission, emulsifying properties and gel characteristic of palmyra palm pectin. So we compare the pectin obtained from the fruit to, diff, so, to several uh, sources of pectin, depending on the on the characteristic uh, uh, on the characteristic under studies. So when we look at the emulsifying properties, we we noted that pectin uh, from the fruits under studies has uh, 50 to 65 percent of uh, emulsifying properties which is greater than uh, to that of uh, sweet sugar, sugar beets, which has a 47.3% of emulsifying properties. So when we look at the, uh, the stability of the emulsion, we noted that the, 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 the emulsion was stable and uh, the flow behavior of 2% uh, of, the, of the pectin solution it was a shear thinning behavior, which means is a uh, um, when is uh, the solution was shared, the the sample gets liquefied, so the network is disrupted. And uh, when we look at the gel forming ability, and uh, since the pectin has a 
as a, a molecular of as a degree of acidification greater than 50% is considered as a high methocytectin and therefore it's a gelling ability needs a sugar in acidic medium. So when we check the gel consistency, we noted that the gel, the consistency was solved because it was within a 3.5 and 6 to 3. Uh, it was for, it was between 6.3 and 6.5, 6.3, which is lower than that of sunflower, which was between 6 and, and 6 and 8. So from this study, we can we noted that uh, the fruit is uh, packed in a nutrient and a bioactive compound that can be extra uh, exploited. And instead of letting the fruit to rot in the, fruit, the field, it could be used as a raw material for the petting industry or as a raw material for the extraction of bioactive compounds. And uh, yeah, okay. This uh, so renewal food is a good source of quality pectin, and therefore a potential source of raw material for the pectin industry. Its valorization will help sustain food security in my country and also in Africa. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor, for your presentations. It has a little bit of time.